order to get your files that you have purchased from Ravelry, there are two options. One is that you purchased while signed into your Ravelry account. And if that's the case, this is how you would get your file. So you would go to Ravelry.com, <coughs> go to your notebook over here in the corner, go down to Library. Here are all the patterns that you've added to your library. This would include any that you purchased, but it could also include free ones that you added. So, for example, I click on this pattern here that I've added to my library, and it'll show me all the files available. And I can click on the download button, and it will download it to my computer. But for a lot of people, you have purchased without an account and that means you have to go to your email whatever it is go to the actual email and you will see this kind of um, template email where it shows you what you purchased for how much and then it'll give you this URL here and it says if you click on this URL then you will have access to your files so you click on this it'll open a new window boom look at these files, or this file at least. And there's a little download here, and I can click on this and it will download it to my computer. And at that point, it's your responsibility on how to open it. If you do not have Adobe Reader here on your computer, then you will have a hard time opening that file. So if you don't have Adobe Reader, then you can click this button and it will actually take you to the website to download that. And once you install it, you can come back here, download your file, and open it. Um, but if you're on a device like a phone or an iPad, it should already have a way to open these files. You shouldn't have any trouble at all. Um, anyway, so that is it.